It's finally Friday, and what's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to Let's Mess With 2K16 Universe Mode. Today, I'm gonna use that magical R1. What the fuck? What the fuck? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? God damn it. R1 button to edit this match, because we've had this match at this point like three times. So, what if this match was a tables match? So, let's hit one on one. Let's hit tables, and why is it making me? I I I only wanted to change the match type. What the fuck is this shit? Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll just go change and just put up the same fucking match again. I guess what the fuck is Seth Rollins? Uh, it's been a hell of a couple days. I will tell you that much. Uh, it has been a hell of a couple days. I am behind schedule on everything in my entire life, more or less. Um, so let's choose Cesaro here and start the match. I hope that works as still being a rivalry type thing. I haven't really done a tables match in this game, like, ever. Or at least not on camera, for that matter. So, that'll be interesting. Anyway, what's up? It's Friday. Um, I'm Seth Rollins. There are some tables. Uh, pl playing on hard, so that should be fun. Um, there is bits of news here and there. Uh, if you have not seen... This week's Perplexing Pixels, uh, go check that out. It is WrestleMania X8 for the GameCube, our very first GameCube game uh, being done on Pixels. It was supposed to be Carmageddon, and then we realized, oh wait, there was a terrible tragedy in France yesterday. That would be in very fucking poor taste to play a game that involves running over people and watching the blood go everywhere. That's just, no. Can't do that. So, maybe next week, but maybe never. I don't know. That's just really kind of going to see how uh, that goes. But, uh, not to get too much into real-world tragedies, um, on this show. This is, this is, this is not a serious show. Like, that's kind of the point. Is that, you know, you kind of sit back, relax, I bullshit about, about wrestling, it's not a serious show. So, that being said, Brock Lesnar, apparently, while being under contract to WWE, is also under contract to UFC, still. So that, that one-off fight might not be a one-off fight. So, that's fascinating. But because of that, he's going to be continually tested by the USDA for, you know, uh, banned substances. Even though he's not actively, as of right now, not actively training for his next fight. Which people are saying, if it's going to happen, won't happen until next year. Which, you know, would not be surprising because obviously he is still under contract to WWE. And that is kind of important. Uh, he's got a match at SummerSlam versus Randy Orton. So, there's that. Um... There was an interesting uh, Vince McMahon story coming out of the guy who directed or co-directed uh, the Swerve series for the network. And it feels like anybody who has any kind of interaction with Vince McMahon is going to have some kind of a story to take away from that. And this particular one was that in season one of Swerved, there was that red carpet uh, dog poop prank. That apparently was Vince's idea, and he thought it was fucking hilarious, and that he didn't have any other de demands for that show, but they had to do a dog poop prank. And he insisted it had to be real dog poop. And in my head, I'm thinking, it's funnier, damn it, it's funnier. Um, but yeah, that shit's hilarious. Like, it seems like anybody who has, you know, a Vince uh, uh, interaction, is, or, you know, who worked with him, is going to have a Vince story, and... That's a pretty good one. Uh, the only other tidbit from that nonsense was that apparently there was a Do Not Swerve list, and he would not disclose who was on the Do Not Swerve list. You gotta imagine this guy's like Undertaker, you know, just don't... You don't swerve Undertaker. That, that shit would not go over well. Um, so, yeah. That was interesting. Um, so, I guess kind of the main discussion thing I wanted to get over here today is about... There was a, a survey or know, some kind of a thing for the WWE Network in terms of uh, potential things they, they could be offering uh, as part of your in the face subscription with the network. Um, and curb stomp. What a maneuver. Things that they, they could be offering in the future with the network. And, no, pick it up, you dumb chuckle fuck. Turn around. Don't put it, I fucking hate you. 
I shouldn't... There! That's all you had to do. It's all... Now he woke up. No, don't set it up here! The f fuck is wrong with you? I'm stuck. I'm fucking stuck. I couldn't move. Um... Things that could be offered with the network do not suplex me to this table, I swear to god. Uh, as part of your... Mishinoku driver. Subscription. Uh, and let's go on this list here. Downloads for offline use is actually a pretty good one. Um, that was fucked up. I wanted to put them on the table, and it didn't work. In the ring. There we go. Where are you going, Cesaro? Where are you going, Cesaro? Where are you going, Rollins? I said L1, pick up the fucking table, you... Great, great. Um, there was one, it's, it was uh, merchandise games possibly being available to the public before, or being available to subscribers of the network before the public. So say 2K18, or you know, uh, new, new shop zone shirts. Here's the, you can't win, you can't win with this, Czar. You, you can't win with this, it's a tail match. Um, possibly discounts on travel packages. Fuck you, Cesaro. Fuck you. No! Fuck you. Um, being able to vote for... Oh, god damn it. For who is going to be in the Hall of Fame. That one... Sat, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm done here. I'm done. No, I reversed it. Yeah! Oh, I missed. Boom! Oh, fuck you. Um... Now, being able to vote for who's in the Hall of Fame, that sounds like a terrible idea. Because you know, people are just going to vote for Chris Benoit. Like, the first year they offer that, you know they're going to vote for Chris Benoit. Like, that is unavoidable. Now, you would hope people would do the right thing and vote for Owen Hart. But Owen Hart's uh, widow, uh, Martha, is just never going to let that happen. So, it doesn't matter if you vote for it, because she won't let it happen. So, that's a thing. Anyway, uh, what else here? I didn't, I thought, I, th I thought I had that. Uh, discounted bundles, which is to say, if you were to have, you know, buying six months or a year, you could save some money that way. Um, and that's nice, I guess. Like, the prices that they quoted were not, you know... You weren't going to say that much, you know, but it's something. Um, offering a network plus Hulu option, which uh, Hulu only being uh, available in some regions would make that kind of awkward. Um, and an ad-free, boom, wins the match. An ad-free experience. Some of those are pretty good. Some of those are, are all right options. Uh, uh, certainly being able to get merch and being able to get games that, that table's fixed beforehand uh would be a cool thing to have um and downloads for offline would be a cool thing to have i think the hall of fame stuff uh is conceptually a fun idea but you gotta realize in practice that's not gonna go over well like your best laid plans are gonna get ruined by just the worst possible people uh, who are just, you know, hey, let's, let's vote in, you know, like, the worst, like, not that I would complain if you were to vote in Barry Horowitz for Hall of Fame, because he's Barry fucking Horowitz, uh, but WWE is always very particular on how they handle their Hall of Fame stuff, and, uh, I think opening it up to fan voting, uh, uh, would probably just totally throw the biggest possible monkey wrench into that thing, uh, so, let's skip this match here. And then we got Lita versus Emma again, and I don't want to do Lita versus Emma again, so I'm just gonna uh, skip that. Um, that happened. Uh, these guys happened, and then these guys happened. And tomorrow, we'll do Kevin Owens versus Sheamus. Perhaps I'll throw in a stipulation, perhaps I won't. I don't know, haven't thought about it yet. Today, a short one, just one match. What the fuck is the trucks today? What the fuck is with these trucks today? All goddamn day, it's been trucks. Anyway, that's the show for the day. Uh, more videos coming soon. More videos every day. Thanks for watching. I'm Attack Thug, and I'll see you next time 
right here on this channel. Unamu!